aren't even on this list oh hey how you doing uh this is uh interesting points on the uh this is your, i'm your host josh Boyer, and uh this is a show i created about uh eight years ago now uh back in before when we could actually get everybody together but now it's online uh and uh we're gonna today we're gonna talk about christmas movies and i'll tell you for one, one thing for fact die hard is not a christmas movie it's a christmas eve movie end of story so anyways gonna have some fun for the next hour or so i'm gonna bring on my guests now right now uh, and I am the ghost of X Men Futures Past. How you doing, Jessica? Jess. Hi, I was just I saw your name and I was trying to change my name, but then you cut to me first. So. Oh, sorry, 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 I didn't mean to cut you. I'm so sorry, I didn't. I couldn't. I, I didn't have time. <laughs> yep, <there's more. laughs> she did have time. Oh, you have time? I'm gonna do it. I'm doing it. I'm live. How are you? <laughs> Next up, we got someone. Oh, no. <laughs> yeah, how you doing? Oh, I know. <laughs> Hey, how are you? Hey. Hey, how you doing? I know we got last night, last one. Matt. How you doing, Matt? Hi. Sorry, I was I was trying to change my name when uh, you called for the next person to come in, and I have to do that too. So that's what caused that. I mean, all because you started with your name crazy. Right. Not everybody wants. To. You gotta give us a heads up. Well, well yeah. last last week, last week during the uh, during the uh, Fast and Furious show, I was the ghost of Paul Walker. So I figured I'll keep the ghost thing going. Uh, and, uh, for as long as you can, as long as, as you can be a ghost, ahead. you do it. That was a Christmas Carol thing. <laughs> well, it is. It is. But um, so my question is, and I'm gonna ask you guys all this right now. Uh, mm -hmm. Die Hard. Is it a Christmas movie, or is it, as I said, a Christmas Eve movie? Christmas movie. Christmas movie. One. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it fulfills all the criteria. 
Oh, which right. are? Does it? Uh, okay. <laughs> Let me see if I can find my notes. Um, <laughs> for those who I did not explain this to backstage, uh, my girlfriend and I have been watching one Christmas movie every night since Black Friday, mm -hmm. and I've been right, doing write-ups of them. And mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I didn't bother to do a synopsis for Die Hard because if you haven't seen Die Hard, go watch Die Hard, and if you have seen Die Hard, you know about Die Hard. <laughs> uh, and I decided to just write sort of an essay in the form of a hypothetical theological debate about whether or not Die Hard is a Christmas movie. Wow. Can I tell you my <laughs> favorite thing? Uh, yeah. Um, go ahead. Go ahead. Yeah, I want to hear this. And then I have something to say about Die Hard. <laughs> go ahead. Fuhi. Oh, me? Yeah, yeah, go ahead. What's your thesis? Okay, yeah. Okay, so the basic elements of a Christmas movie. It has to take place on or around Christmas. It has mm -hmm. to involve themes about family, redemption, togetherness, becoming a better person. And it has to include things about the Christmas spirit, acts of giving, and so forth. And of generally improving oneself via the experience of Christmas. And Die Hard hits all of those notes. Okay. Hmm. I can see that. Um, I don't know how many times people get dropped off a of skyscraper in Christmas movies, but... <laughs> you know, hey, it's, that's the just spirit of giving includes bonus. giving bullets to Alan Rickman and his goons. <laughs> oh, R.I.P. Alan Rickman. Mm. Yes. Bro. Uh, so here's my favorite thing about Die Hard. My favorite thing about Die Hard is that it's Jake Peralta's favorite movie in Brooklyn on Brooklyn Nine Nine. <laughs> yeah. Like the amount that Jake Peralta, uh, uh, Andy Sandberg's character in Brooklyn Nine Nine, talks about Die Hard. Uh, brings me so much joy. I've only seen the movie a handful of times. Like I don't watch. I haven't really watched that movie a lot. Mm -hmm. the, the funny thing is, is you say that I've only seen that movie a handful of times, and everybody was like, "Oh, yeah, that that isn't seen that much." <laughs> it's like one of those movies that sees so many damn times. <laughs> yeah, I can't tell you the last time I've seen that movie. <laughs> My favorite thing about Die Hard is the price of gas in the background during a long shot. <laughs> yeah, that's that's a time capsule. Mm -hmm. That's the thing I always remember. You know, like you see it come up and it's like eighty nine cents a gallon, and it's like, oh, oh. God, I get excited if I see gas for like two oh nine. I'm like, yeah. So one ninety two eighty nine the other day. It was highway robbery. I got two gallons left. I saw one ninety seven the other day. Couldn't believe it. Mm. Underneath two mm -hmm. bucks. It's crazy. My my favorite thing about Die Hard is actually Reginald Vell Johnson. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> you know the fact that the fact that he plays a cop and then goes to play a cop in Family Matters, so you can have those cross universe oh, yeah. things. Right. It's, it's like the janitor. Movie. It's like the janitor in Scrubs being the cop in uh, in the Fugitive in the movie oh. The Fugitive. Yeah. He was the he was the cop uh, uh, that saw um, like the one armed man. Uh, yeah. In in that movie, yeah. Or, or Munch, Munch from um, Homicide, Life on the Streets, and um, uh, one, one of the one of the Law and Orders. He was played by Rich. Oh, uh, it's me. And he actually he, he actually connects like seventeen different universes. Because <laughs> <laughs> he's, he's the, 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 the linchpin of <laughs> basic cable TV shows. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> so, uh, Buddy the Elf, what what about you? What, what's your favorite thing about Die Hard? Oh yeah, you know, I I, I like I I hadn't seen Die Hard until a couple years ago. It's I I just never got around to it. Like, but I I do appreciate any sort of uh, off brand like Christmas movie that's you know a little darker. I like I like a little dark twist to things. Like, who who doesn't like a like a, a little like madcap spin on Christmas. Like, I don't know. I, I love me some Krampus. Uh, I like, you can have a little murder in your holiday. You know, I haven't seen that. I haven't seen that movie, but that look, that's the one with Adam uh, Scott, right? Yeah. It was surprisingly not Wait, funny. Adam Scott is in Krampus? Yeah. It was surprisingly I don't know who Adam not Scott funny. is. Plug that one into the rotation. <laughs> Yeah, it's like Adam Scott and Tony Collette. It's like it was a, a surprising cast, a bit talented. Is it Rob Cordry had too? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's just oh. a stacked cast. What? Yeah. <laughs> I loved watching Weird. Jessica discover who Adam Scott was. <laughs> like she didn't know, so she looked it up and just like I saw that whole I saw that whole uh, story progress. 
emotional <laughs> journey. Oh, it's him. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> he wasn't impressed. I don't, Adam Scott Adam, eyes. Yeah, I don't think she's an Adam Scott fan. No, no, probably not. <laughs> That's the thing. Adam wow. Scott looks like he could be a creep. Yeah, I don't know. Like, yes. like, I love Ben. I love the character he played in Parks and Rec. Ben was the best character. But now, like, I just saw a video of him meeting Mark Hamill, and he had the mustache, oh, just yeah. the mustache. And I was like, oh, Adam Scott, you look like you. I'm not saying you are a creep. I'm saying you look like you could be a creep. But was he was he filming The Good Place at that time though? Because he is a creep in The Good Place. He is a creep in The Good yeah. Place. Which is, in the good place. He's so good. At, like, and he's he's just so good at that. Yeah, uh, true. Uh, all right, so um, now we talked about Die Hard for uh, 10 minutes, which I wasn't expecting to do. <laughs> I I was actually, I just mentally kind of prepared myself for it. I was just like, oh, we're going to talk about Die Hard the whole time. <laughs> Same. I knew it. I knew it was going to happen. Thing, I think it's funny is MLAB just saw it a couple years ago, but she's still seen it more times than Matt has since then. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Probably. Least, oh, I'll like, absolutely like talk about Die Hard for an hour. <laughs> and, and that's the thing there there is a there is a group of people that can 100 percent do that and i would listen to it uh, <laughs> but i would rather listen to other people talk about Die Hard than actually watch <laughs> fair we all have it's our journey masterpiece yes i can i can agree with that i can i can agree with that um mm -hmm. to both i can see both sides um, i believe you we're talking about Christmas movies because Die Hard isn't one, but we're talking about Christmas movies. <laughs> it's a hot button. <laughs> Let's say it's a holiday film. It's a holiday it's film. No, it's, it's, Christmas. It's, it's, like I said before the show, it's a Christmas Eve. It takes yeah. place Christmas Eve. Yeah. So, you know, it's more of a holiday film. Yeah, yeah, exactly. I mean, I, I like to put the, the push the buttons of it's just it's it's so much fun to do that with this movie. It's like the one that everybody everybody immediately has a side upon. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, so, anyways, about regular Christmas movies. Yeah. Um, so I'm actually just gonna kind of go around and uh, see what your favorite one one is, mm. and kind of discuss it from there. Um, so I'm gonna start with Buddy the Elf or M Lab. Uh, oh well, yeah. uh, <laughs> I mean, obviously, Smiling's my favorite. Uh, uh, it's that Elf. Elf is definitely in the top five that I definitely watch every year multiple times, uh, along with Home Alone one and two. Oh, two. Uh, I, I don't do the third one. It's just, it's not, it's not in my, uh, it's not Macaulay Culkin in the third one, is it? No, it's, it's a um, different kid, right? Yeah. It's some kid that kind of looks like Macaulay Culkin. <laughs> not, and not even his brother. It's, <laughs> uh, they didn't even get his brother. His <laughs> infinitely, I don't want to say more talented, but his very talented brother, Kieran Culkin. Oh, yeah. yeah. Didn't they get Hillary Swank? Well, that was a karate kid. They didn't get Hillary Swank. It was, it was a karate it's, kid. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Uh, so yeah, big big Home Alone stan. Um, I love Christmas Vacation. Yeah. Oh yes. Yeah. 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 Uh, uh, that's my that's the that my background here is uh, the Griswold. Yeah. The Griswold. Open your house on fire, Claude. Are we nice. at the airport, clock? Uh, my <laughs> wife and I just recently watched that. She had watched it for the first time. Really? Uh, yeah, she had never seen it. Uh, uh, it. <sighs> Can I ask you a question, Emily? Yeah. How do you feel about the movie now that you know Randy Quaid is crazy? <laughs> oh, jeez. Have I you mean, seen him? Yeah. Have you seen him lately? He's he, <laughs> he, he, apparently, he was only a, like a one-trick pony because he played himself in every single movie, apparently. <laughs> Right, because yeah. he's crazy in Christmas Vacation. He's a crazy person in Independence Day. Like, what are some other uh, Randy Quaid roles that we can <laughs> um, <laughs> put in there? I mean, actually, uh, I can't think of another Randy Quaid role. <laughs> I know. Mean, right? Oh him. my God, he looks <laughs> like he lives in a cave upon a mountain. Yeah, yeah he looks like like, like plays with swir with squirrels. My computer from, uh, is so squirrels. terrified of him that it won't zoom in. <laughs> you can't get too close. He can't, my computer refuses to get too close to Randy Quaid. <laughs> yeah, you see, he, he went out. Well, Gary Busey's another one who went nuts, too. So, yeah. Oh, yeah. I mean, but watching the movie, yeah. Yeah, that's true. Oh, um, Kingpin is another one. I don't know one. if there was a transitional stage involved there. Yeah, I'm trying to think of, I'm trying, I'm honestly trying to think of other Randy Quaid movies and I can't. It yeah. just did not come to me. Um, well, of course, he did a National Lampoon's. <laughs> Uh, he did a whole. They did a whole National Lampoon uh, movie based on Cousin Eddie. Like they mm -hmm. did a whole Cousin Eddie movie. Did 
Yeah. Wow. Well, yeah. I haven't okay. seen it, but I've heard about it. Has anybody seen it? <laughs> I know, right? Like, I feel like I should have known about that. I love like, that. Like, no, seriously, has anyone ever anyone, seen it in the whole world? Well, here's the thing. If, if anybody has seen it, it's Volti uh, McMoon here. Uh, uh, she... She says, uh, uh, what if I'm just here to let you all know I'm hot for Randy Quaid? <laughs> I mean, if that's who you are, actually. That's a choice. Then, like, live your truth. Live Prove your truth. It. I will support you 100% as a friend. <laughs> yeah. I, I support your choice. <laughs> I mean, yeah, this beard and Nate Lopez's beard are... <laughs> Can we do a side by side comparison? I wish I don't have a picture of Nate Lopez's beard. It's it's like you wanted to be a mom too. Let's keep going. Weird. Great Nate Lopez's beard. He looks great. <laughs> so yeah, there's there is a colony of some some species living in that beard. Yeah. Oh, he also made a sex tape, Randy. Oh, hmm. Does 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 Walter McMoon know that? <laughs> Does who? Oh, she, she owns it. She probably <laughs> she probably filled it. Uh, filled it. <laughs> filled it. Filled it. <laughs> she filled it. <laughs> so um, Christmas Vacation actually is, is, is a great movie. Even 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 besides the fact that Randy Quaid's nuts, uh, that squirrel scene gets me every time. Oh my um, god, Sam! Oh my well, god. I feel like that's the like. And it doesn't really change my opinion knowing that Randy Quaid is crazy because also like Chevy Chase is an asshole. Like that's something yeah. that yeah. So it's I don't know. Uh, it, the the movie stands alone to me. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I, I mean it's 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 definitely the best of the vacations. In all honesty. Yeah, yeah. I was going to argue for a second. I was like, but I haven't, <laughs> like, I haven't seen the other vacations in so long. Yeah, that I, like I don't remember them, but I remember Christmas Vacation being a movie that my family watched every year. <laughs> yeah, like that yeah. was in our rotation. Yeah, it, it kind of has to be. I think almost. Yeah. Um, so yeah, I love I love Christmas Vacation. <laughs> um, I love the Home Alones. I, I you know I mean you can't go wrong with those. I think I think the first time I think the the hardest I've ever laughed in the theater was the first time I saw Home Alone there, you know when I when I, when it opened up because I'm old. Um, <laughs> so. God, it's been so long since I've seen that, but that's got Catherine O'Hara's in it. Uh, mm -hmm. John Candy has a has a cameo in that oh, movie. Yes, he does. John he's Candy? the driver. Yeah, yeah, he's the well, he's the polka. He's at the polka band that Catherine O'Hara rides with, right? Yeah. Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's yeah. what it is. Yes, yes, yes. I mean, it's 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 a fantastic movie and a fantastic cast. It's just a great movie. Um, so, um, Jess, mm -hmm. what in chat? What about you? Um, I think I have to say Muppet Christmas Carol. Oh. I think Muppet Christmas Carol is absolutely my favorite Christmas movie. I would say um, Christmas Story and It's a Wonderful Life are also in the top three. Yeah. I, I think that I just have so much nostalgia, childish nostalgia yeah. uh, attached to it. And, you know, uh, Michael Kide is excellent. <laughs> Michael as Kine. Michael Kine. You, you so, say it, my, my coca my cocaine. It's my Michael Kide. Michael Kide. <laughs> not your cocaine. It's my <laughs> I, uh, I I received a text from Dan Chapman, whom I believe all of you know, the yeah. other night, mm -hmm. saying that uh, they were watching or he and Lauren were watching a Muppet Christmas Carol, and it was oh. Lauren's first time. Uh, Lauren didn't grow up with the Muppets. <laughs> and, and so that, Dan was just I feel like, like live should go after Lauren's parents for that. Like, well, you know, yeah, that's what happened to Lauren. I feel like, like that's a suable offense. Yeah. Like, yeah. How? Yeah. But, but like, not have TV. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there, no, it was a strict no Muppet household. Um, but because because she like she just can't like wrap her head around like the fact that humans like accept Muppets as as like living in the same world as them. <laughs> so so Dan, the first thing he texted me, he was like, uh, she already has a problem with the credits. And I was like, what do you mean? And he was like, she doesn't like that the Muppets are being credited as characters. <laughs> Like Kermit the Frog as Bob Cratchit, like oh. that just, she couldn't. <laughs> yeah, you've got to, you've got to, you've got to understand the fact that the M Muppets are the the being. 
Like a Muppet yeah. is a being. Right. A Muppet has no life. One, no one show her Emmett Otter's Jug Band Christmas or she's going to lose her shit. <laughs> <laughs> like, that's like a whole other level of like Muppet bullshit right there. Yeah. Muppet Christmas like, Carol is the other one so that we've watched recently. Like I've yeah. watched oh, it yeah. within the last like week or so. Oh, wow. Yeah. I love yeah. the comic relief of Rizzo the Rat. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, he's so good. I just watched this movie an hour ago. So oh, nice. nice. I, I think my favorite bit of that movie is when uh, it's it's in the schoolyard, it's in the classroom, and he's with Sam the Eagle, and he's like, it's the American way. <laughs> <laughs> it's the British way. <laughs> yeah. That, yeah. that to me, like, that was the, you know, <laughs> so good. I, 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 I haven't seen it a long time, so it's it's been a long time. But I probably probably introduced my daughter to it. Uh, in all honesty, uh, I think she oh, yeah. kick out of yeah. it. She, she's not really a Muppet girl yet. Ooh. I mean, she likes Muppet Babies, but not the Muppets yet. I think it's just well, it's, it's a little different. Too I mean, Muppet Babies they make your dreams come true. They so do. I can see <laughs> why it might be difficult for her to move on from that. <laughs> Muppet Babies, age. yeah, they'll do the same for you. Make you Make your nightmares come to life. <laughs> when your room looks kind of weird and you wish that you weren't there, just close your eyes and make believe, and you can be anywhere. See, I mean, you're always on Sesame Street. Yes. <laughs> yeah, I, I was super in the, into the Muppets. The Muppet, the yeah. Great Muppet Caper was, I think, my favorite. Like, I love the original Muppet movie, but the Great Muppet Caper, yeah. the second one that they made, was Great just Great so movie. good. I've, 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 often said that, I've often said that in terms of Halloween, uh, that the, the the Muppets are much scarier than Jason because it took him eight movies to take Manhattan and it only took them three. <laughs> <laughs> Muppets are efficient; they travel by mass. I want to say that David is definitely the imposter because he says he doesn't get the whole Muppet thing. Yeah, no, I, I'm. I didn't Sus. even want to mention it. I didn't yeah, even want to yeah, mention yeah. that. That that just Sus. like Sus. I want to stay friends with David. Like I want to be friends with David still. <laughs> you're dead hard. to me, David. <laughs> and you're this close with me. You're this close. <laughs> David, I still love you. <laughs> <laughs> Were you, you had something to say for me? Hmm? Are you had something hmm? to say? You, you, no. you, oh, I thought you had a point. <laughs> well, <laughs> you know, I'm just. Trying to entertain a dog right here. Speaking of Muppets. Oh, you can have less than a dog. That is a Muppet. <laughs> Doesn't this look like what would happen if Jim Henson designed a terrier? Absolutely. Oh, wow. That, you know, that, that, that dog is amazing. <laughs> Fui, Fui, what, would his, my body. what would his Muppet voice sound like? Um, let me see if I can get him to bark real quick, because mm -hmm. that's just what it would be. I don't think he would, he would just bark. It would just be like, yeah, be like he'd be deeper. like animal, where he doesn't really say anything. He just kind of growls. Oh, I'm sorry, but animal says a lot. Yeah, yeah. Do you know who animal's favorite painter is? He's got the anti bark thing. It's Renoir, oh. because he was supposed to go to the the exhibit. And uh, the it's in the I think it's in the um, the second Muppet movie they talk about. What? It. Yeah, yeah. Muppet, <laughs> animal's favorite. Animal is very cultured. He just has. Uh, he just you know. He's, he has, he's got his way of communicating. He has my favorite. One of my favorite drum solos of all time was him against Buddy Rich. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> Animal was by far one of my favorite Muppets. Oh yeah. Um, Matt, Matt's, Matt's got that deep Muppet lore. Knowledge I love, in that noggin. I, I love it. Yeah, I've watched that far too many times. Well, what's, what's, <laughs> what's funny too is everyone, you know, the, the Manamana thing. Mm -hmm. Oh, I didn't, I didn't realize that was the first skit they ever had on the Muppet Show. Very yes. first episode. <laughs> yeah, the very first one. Yeah. Until so I watched again, I was like, that, that's where that came from. If you go back and watch like the first epi like the first season of the Muppet Show, yeah. like they didn't have a lot of big names in that first season mm -hmm. because they were just getting their. Like they're they like called in favors to get that shit done. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> you know, like it was and so then good. Once, once it took off, then it they almost started didn't get off the ground. Off. Yeah. It and was then it so became a prestige good. thing of like you're not a celebrity if you haven't been on the Muppet Show. Right. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. A little I love bit on the Muppet Show. Who the fuck do you even think you are? I have such a strong memory of Elton John 
doing Crocodile Rock with a little mm. crocodile going, ah, nah, 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 nah. <laughs> it's like embedded in this little brain of mine. Mine was pigs in space. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, so Muppet, the Muppet Show was freaking SNL for kids. That's yeah. what the Muppet Show was. Well, it was. The first season was. It, really was. Cool. it literally was. Yeah. The first season was really for adults, though. The first, the first season was definitely more adult oriented than than SNL than, 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 than the kids side of it. But it was, it was definitely, it definitely became that. Where it was, where I'm not trying to to, to, to talk down to your your idea, but I'm just saying. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> Exactly what someone would say who's talking down to your idea. I know, I know, I know. I realized that as I said it. <laughs> hey, do you guys know where Josh gets his water? From, uh, a, from well, a well, actually. Yeah, actually. <laughs> <laughs> uh, All right, I've been defeated. <laughs> <laughs> it is now your show, Jess. <laughs> oh, great. Excellent. Ooh. So, John McClane Stan, what's your favorite Christmas movie? Okay, up until about two weeks ago, I would have said unequivocally, uh, It's a Wonderful Life. <laughs> but then, uh, like, two weeks ago, we watched um, Tokyo Godfathers by Satoshi oh, wow. Kon. Excellent, excellent movie. And if you haven't seen that movie, like, as soon as this is over, go watch that movie. Tokyo it's, Godfathers. Tokyo I'm going to take it. It's amazing. We need a quick synopsis. We need a, we need a little five sentences. Um, it's about... Three homeless people in Tokyo who discover an abandoned baby on Christmas Eve. Oh, and they set off to try and find the baby's parents. And it is an absolutely wackadoodle madcap adventure through Tokyo that is gorgeously animated. And I What's can't say enough about this movie because, like, the thing that I like most about it is that it really kind of leans into the whole. These are three homeless people who found an abandoned baby. Like, this is a movie that is about the dregs and castoffs and forgotten people of society. And this movie will not allow them to be forgotten about. And it treats all of its subjects with a fierce and unflinching compassion that is just Ooh. so lacking from almost every other Christmas movie. Wow. Everything else has this weird sense of judgment to it, but this movie just lets these people be who they are, and it loves them for it. Wow. Damn, you stole wow. the shit out of that. Wow. Yeah, that was that was such a pitch. Like, well, now I have to write it down. I'm, I'm right there. I it's an anime. You said it's anime. Is it subs or yep. dubs? Subs where or dubs? can where can one find um, that? You can get both. We thought we were getting the sub because it said Japanese language when we rented it off of Amazon Prime, but it was just a dub. But the dub is really, really good. That's like cool. they actually got real voice actors to do it. And, it's and one of the three Tokyo homeless Godfather. people, one of the things that I really enjoyed was one of the three homeless people is a trans woman. And they went out of their way to cast a trans woman to do her voice. No Back way. in like 2003. Right. I'm watching That's it. So yeah, yeah, wow. 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 What's that to like? I'm, I'm in. I'm, a, I'm all in. Godfathers. Yep. Plural. Plural or singular? Uh, plural. Plural. Because there's three of them. Because there's, there's three. There's three of them. Oh, because there's three, there's three of them. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Are, they like, are they analogous to the ghosts of Christmas, past, present, and future? No. Um, ah, there's Hannah, who's Missed opportunity. the trans woman, who is really the heart and soul of the movie. And then there's Jin, who's an alcoholic and a chronic gambler. And then there's uh, Miyuki, who is a teenage runaway. And they've all oh. kind of come together by chance and then have this wacky adventure as they try and return a baby. Is this is this new-ish? Like, how long has this been around, this movie? 2003. Oh so wow! It's, it's, Here, I'm gonna post the uh, I'm gonna post the trailer in the chat just so people ooh. can go and watch the trailer if they want to. But um, not right now. Stick but around. not right <laughs> now because <laughs> just <laughs> copy and paste it. Just copy and paste it and save it and then put it in another window <laughs> and then when the show's over, watch. It. Yeah. Right. Stick around for the rest of Jess's interesting points. Yeah. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Great show, Jess. Yeah, thank you, thank you. I've only been doing it for 18 minutes. Um, that's great. 
<laughs> so, uh, right, J Josh, did you say your favorite Christmas movie? No, I, actually, I didn't. But my, my favorite Christmas movie, and I, I actually fight fight anybody to this to, to the death for this. But the favorite, it's not even a movie. I'm talking about Christmas specials here. Oh, TV, TV specials. The best holiday special I've ever seen is Trolls Holiday. Believe it or not, like, like the, the, Trolls, the movie. Yeah, the yeah, yeah. Special, the holiday special is one of the best things you'll ever see. Huh? It's on huh. Netflix. It's on. How Netflix. many times have you had to watch it, Josh? Over the past, I've had to watch it like three days. How many times have you watched it? Probably about, probably close to a hundred times, and I've see, liked it. I think you like it. Like this is like a this is like Stockholm syndrome for you. No, 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 no. no I think no, this no. movie has hurt you so badly that you love it. You are a captive audience. <laughs> I'm the exact opposite way. I'm really? the exact opposite way. When I watch something more than once with 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 her, when I watch something multiple times, I'm like I'm sitting there going, "Come on, can we can we get this over with? Can we watch something new?" But Trolls Holiday Special, for some reason, it's amazing. Right. <laughs> I'm gonna put that under Tokyo Godfathers. That's yeah. Cool. What, what, is it, uh, Tokyo Godfathers. <laughs> what is it about it that you find so captivating? It, it's just it's fun. It's a lot of fun. The music is 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 decent. Uh, it's really good. Uh, there's there's a whole sequence where they talk about different. Because what it is is holiday. It's um, the trolls have have uh, like the troll holiday used to be the holiday from the movie was that trolls were eaten by the uh, by the bad guys. I forget what the name was now for some reason, but That's they were eaten. Dark by as fuck, dude. Yeah, what? Yeah, so Not so they, a good start. They stopped. They stopped eating the trolls at the end of the first movie. They basically became friends with the trolls. And then the holiday special. They're trying to. They have no holiday left, so they don't. There's no holiday cheer in the in this land. So they, the trolls decide, decide to bring them holidays. <laughs> and there's a whole segment that's, that's just fantastic with you. Hope they have all these different it's holidays. Written, it's written right <laughs> under Tokyo Godfather. <laughs> yeah, I really <laughs> hung up on the on the troll genocide that was happening. Yeah, it's like, yes. <laughs> that kind of gets brushed under the rug real quick. The grumble, yeah. the grumble. Something like that. I forget their name now for some reason. It's it's escaping me. Oh, but so this isn't. See, I thought that you were talking about the trolls, like the movies the, with the with the crazy hair troll. I am. I am. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, this is the same. So this. Okay. Never yeah. Mind. Same universe. Back same out. Anna Kendrick, Anna Kendrick, Anna Kendrick and Timberlake. <laughs> it's it's literally literally the the same thing. And the holiday special is amazing because it's it's a non denominational holiday special, which is rare. It's legitimately, oh. legitimately just a holiday special. It's not Christmas. It's not Kwanzaa. It's not Hanukkah. It's not anything. It's legitimately just a holiday special, and that's what's secular what about it. Mm, a secular <laughs> holiday yeah, movie. Yeah, exactly. Um, I just want to shout out to um, other David Thomas. I don't give a, a shit what you say. You're still not in my good graces. Is he talking about? Too, but just a little bit less. Just <laughs> just a little bit less, David. 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 I still like you a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> what what special is he talking about? Was it was it just Muppet Family Christmas or was it Emmett Otter's Chuck Band? You would just say Emmett Otter. Sounds like Emmett Otter. Sounds like Emmett Otter. Like Emmett Otter like yeah, mm -hmm. they were in poverty. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever. You know I mean, what? that's not an you inaccurate know, synopsis of the show. <laughs> <laughs> you and Lauren can go watch Emmett Otter by yourselves and have a terrible time. Yeah, you can you can hate it together in solidarity. So what's next, Josh? We're doing uh, we're doing least. Well, favorite. I haven't said I haven't, I, haven't said, I, haven't, I haven't said my favorite. Oh, I thought you had. No, no I was just agreeing with everyone else's because everyone like I was like first uh, first it was uh, Christmas vacation was you know. Yeah. Plucked from my top uh, oh, ranks, yeah. you know, and then and then Muppet Christmas Carol. Honestly, I'm gonna go. I'm actually gonna go back a little bit and think about like one of my favorite Christmas movies as a kid, yep. and it was Santa Claus: Colon the Movie. Oh, uh, with <laughs> John John Lithgow. Yeah. John Lithgow is the bad guy. Dudley Moore plays an elf that isn't happy with his station in life yeah. and wants to get out into the world. So he brings his his elf ways to a candy maker or a toy maker who he thinks is on the up and up. And that's John Lithgow. And he is not on the up and up. Uh, so Santa, with the help of a, uh, a homeless uh, uh, youth, uh, helped save the day. And it was just like I remember that movie as a kid, that it was just so cool. Wow, it was a great movie! It was a fantastic movie. I, I, yeah, 
I haven't seen it in forever, but I did remember yeah, loving it. But John Lithgow plays such a good, such a good bad guy. Do you think if you watched it again now, you would enjoy it? Or do you think that's like, don't meet your heroes type of thing? Like, it's probably best to not go watch it again. Well, I will say this. I did recently rewatch Ernest Saves Christmas, which is another one of my favorite uh, <laughs> holidays. Yeah. Uh, and it did not hold up that well. It still held up. A, like, it was still fun to watch. But it was just like, holy crap, there's a lot of, like, there were a lot of plot holes in these movies, right? Like it just goes from one thing to another a lot, you know? Uh, oh. And it's like, oh, how did that happen? Well, I guess it just happened. Christmas uh, magic. Yeah. Uh, and there's a lot of that, I think, in both of those movies. Uh, but I think I would be okay with watching them again. Mm. There, was, there was something very epic about Santa Claus the movie, if I remember correctly. It just felt epic. Yeah, it really did because it was, uh, I don't know, it was just something about like the, it started like the lore, like it went into like the lore of how Santa became yeah. Santa and, you know, it really, yeah, it did. It had a very epic feel, but it was also very like rich v poor, like yeah. it, that it showed, you know, very, you know, rich people. And then of course, you know, the, the, one of the main characters in the movie is this poor homeless girl, <laughs> you know, mm -hmm. uh, but it's it. I, I think it might be fun to watch. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so Dr. Uh, Dan Chapman uh, wants to know if anyone's talked about Muppet Family Christmas yet. And I'm definitely going to bring it up because David doesn't want me to. <laughs> Yay. I know, but I've seen that. I Dan, we just talked about how you're... I remember specifically the Swedish I'm chef sure tries to a big bird and I thought it was hilarious. <laughs> I remember. I remember specifically the line: "Put the turkey, turkey in the potski potski." <laughs> <laughs> I always say that to myself about just any. It's not just turkey, turkey. It's whatever I'm putting in a pot. I like put put them. Do you put really? Them I don't do. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah do it too. Uh, uh, <laughs> <laughs> I don't yeah. cook turkey, so it's just whatever I'm putting in a pot. <laughs> <laughs> Has awesome. anyone here seen Santa Claus Conquers the Martians? I, I've seen the I've seen the MST three I, have I haven't either, and that seems like a movie that I probably should watch. Yeah, I've seen the the Mystery Science Theater three thousand version of it, which you could probably just watch that. Like, yeah, just, yeah, just watch that's probably what I'd watch. Yeah, that was that would be the way to go with it. Because you'll um, probably you'll probably like riff it yourself, so you might as well just have some other guys talking over it too. Right. <laughs> <laughs> what are the so I, like? Uh, they, they're, if I, I forget. It's been such a long time since I saw it. Oh, yeah. I think they're just little green men. Yeah, like like your standard like like the kind of aliens that you would like draw on your notebook in elementary school. Like yeah, like like with the big old eyes. Yeah. Uh oh oh my goodness. He <laughs> 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 found him. That was not what I was expecting. It's not what I was expecting at all. <laughs> Behold. That wow. Sure is something. Aliens. Goodness. Oh, David watched it for the rehash last week. So I missed the episode of the rehash last week, and evidently that was the movie that they talked about. Uh, uh, I'm sorry, David, that you can't be on here to talk about it, but you're not cast on this show tonight. So, <laughs> well, yeah, yeah. Wah, wah, wah. yeah. Why are we why are we plugging his show? <laughs> Friday yeah. night the rehash with yes. David Thomas and Tookie Cavanaugh. Yeah, yeah. Go for Tookie. <laughs> yeah, go for Tookie. Stay for David. <laughs> mm. <laughs> not. I also, you know, and and uh, David also does level down with Ryan Daly and and uh, Sumit, whose last name I don't remember off the top of my head. Uh, yeah, on no. every other Friday, it's at uh, six thirty p.m. So good, I really enjoy it. Watch David. Watch <laughs> two MB Studios. <laughs> he's on about four or five times a week. <laughs> really, he's really the one of the reasons we we started the channel. <laughs> Really, just he's he's two MB Studios two. <laughs> <laughs> yes, he's like VH1 Classic. He's two yeah. MB Classic. <laughs> he's two MB Classic. That's 
So uh, you were going to say worst movies now? Oh, yeah, sure. Thanks. Thanks. <laughs> uh, sorry. I'm the host. I can do my job, okay? <laughs> sorry. We're going to start with Matt this time. Ooh. You're doing great, sweetie. <laughs> uh, least favorite ho uh, holiday movie? See, that's hard for me because I am notoriously like easily pleased with movies. Like I like there are movies that I'm like, yeah, I had a great time, and everybody's like, that was the dumbest, you know, whatever. But um, Fred Claus, I think. Is <laughs> Oof. is going to take my because i couldn't even make it like halfway through the movie like just like the way that they animated the elves in oh. that movie creeped me out in a way that nothing has ever creeped me out before mm. it's just like i don't know what it is but it huh. was i, I oh. don't I, I it's it's familiar fred claus but i don't who plays fred claus uh, it's Vince. It's a Vince Vaughn movie, okay. and, and Paul Giamatti <laughs> plays Santa Claus. Okay. So it's John Which Adams. I actually and, love. <laughs> I love Paul Giamatti. Don't yeah. get me wrong. Oh yeah. I don't know who he lost a bet to. If he had to do that movie. <laughs> he's better than Probably Vince Vaughn. <laughs> I mean, Vince had to have something on him. <laughs> he lost a duel to Vince Vaughn and had to be in Fred Claus. <laughs> Yikes! Oh, uh, yeah. I've saved Frank Claus is bad. Yeah, it's, and, it's bad. Is, just, is he also in Four Christmases, which is also not great? He's yeah. just in a lot of not great Christmas movies. But now he's in this new one, uh, Freaky, that I have not seen yet, but it looks <gasps> that really looks good. good. Yeah. That's yeah. really interesting. Yeah. yeah. Oh, what's it about? What's give me a give me a give me a little taste. It's uh, it's it's, it's your a classic Freaky Friday, see? Uh, Except it's a serial killer who switches bodies with a teenage oh, girl. Yeah. So it's okay. Vince Vaughn playing a teenage girl, yeah. and uh, a teenage girl playing creepy it's Vince Vaughn. Vaughn. Okay, yeah, yeah, I have seen the uh, I have seen the trailers for that. That did look good. I agree. Yeah. <laughs> okay, and Lab Christmas Queen. Oh, it means. Oh, oh, God. Oh, my God. Oh, God. What are you guys talking about? What are you talking about? I, I got to go. I, oh, man. Uh, I got an alert. My phone's ringing. How did, how did he get. How did he get? I'm sorry. He did. <laughs> I don't know how that happened. Just as quickly. He I apologize. Uh, I apologize that, that, it, Matt, you're I, that I allowed that to happen. <laughs> oh my God. Okay, he Christmas left. Queen. He left. Uh, he, he left, left. So. <laughs> Bye. Thank you, David, for being a good sport on that. <laughs> uh, we're, we're talking. We're talking about least favorite at this point. Oh, yeah. yeah. All right. I, again, and and I, as as a lover of Christmas, um, this comes with a grain of salt. But I really don't care for the Polar Express. I just, it's that weird, uncanny valley. Tom yes. Hanks. I just, I can't. I, I can't bring myself it. to watch it. I can't bring yeah. myself to watch it. It's yeah. horrifying. It like, is. It's. I think it's the only role that nobody likes Tom Hanks in. Like, you know, I don't mind Tom Hanks in it, but I hate everything else. Yeah, the animation, that weird, like, heavy breathing kid that was like super annoying. Like, wh I don't understand what he adds to the plot. Like, why is he there? Why is right. that weird creepy kid there? He's just he's because every every kid's movie needs a weird kid, but yes. like, it's it's. A book, it's a book that was like read to us in elementary school. It's literally like I don't even think it's 20 pages. Like it's a really short book. And yeah. they just made this long ass <laughs> fucking garbage yeah. computer movie. Um, <laughs> it's, a, it's not the same author as like they thought it was be the next stuff. big thing. What's the next big thing? Now they thought that like the, the animation uh, style they were using for Polar Express was going to be the next big thing. And then it sure extremely did. wasn't. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Like did he, because didn't they do like Beo? Wasn't Beowulf yeah. first to do that? And yeah. then they're like, "Oh, this is the same thing that Beowulf did. Hmm. Only it's a kids movie." <laughs> yeah, Be Beowulf was a bad movie. Actually, I don't think I saw it. I definitely um, read it senior year, or <laughs> I fell asleep in the front of my English class while my yeah. teacher read it. 
<laughs> I, I want to say Kit Tempest in the chat uh, is is ta was asking about the Mario Lopez uh, Kentucky Fried Chicken movie oh. uh, that came out, <laughs> and uh, M Lab and I actually watched that movie together. Really, uh, it was, with, it was with the a group best. of friends of ours. Uh, it was oh. 15 minutes of sheer wonder. <laughs> <laughs> a feel-good holiday treat. <laughs> That will followed immediately by Police Snap the, Dad. Kf, yes. KFC Slater. KFC Slater. For a sequel. So keep your eyes out for <laughs> the secret of seduction. Or the what is it? The recipe for seduction. Yeah. Ooh. yeah. The, those herbs and spices were spicy. Oh my goodness. No, 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 Popeyes is gonna come up with a with a spicier one. Right. <laughs> Yikes! What was that on Lifetime? Right, it aired on Lifetime. It was on Lifetime. Yeah, that's so funny. Lifetime has nothing better to do than to air a fifteen-minute KFC special. I think that's a <laughs> expected Lifetime for in a long time. In that peak time of year, too. I know, right? Which I'm sure he got paid handsomely for. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. Sure, sure. Good for him. Good for Mario Lopez. <laughs> Right, you know, he's doing all right. He deserves to do all right. I think he does. He was doing all right before. <laughs> what? Yeah. He was doing all right before. I don't think. I don't think anybody was really was weeping for Mario. Well, yeah. <laughs> I don't know. I kind of feel bad for all those like D list celebrities. Like I saw what's her name, Maria Menounos, on like a gas station TV the other oh, day, yeah. and I was like, Maria, what are you doing? It used to be on the big screen the in the movie theaters. Yeah, she's yeah. paying the bills. That's what she's doing. <laughs> like, man, like, do you think she ever like auditions for like other like big stuff and just like doesn't ever get it? You know, does she have bigger dreams? <laughs> to, to be uh, a, a lifetime Christmas movie leading lady. Exactly. That's exactly that's what word. I'm asking. I mean, I feel if you're on gas station pumps, though, you've made it. Like, <laughs> that's every like that's everywhere. Like you could be in a movie theater. There's how many movie theaters in this country? Well, how many gas stations? Not many more. Right now, I think three. I think there yeah. are three movie theaters. Yeah. Uh, gas stations are the new movie theaters. <laughs> <laughs> they show like three minute films. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> Everybody well, there's a lot of room for some interesting artistic expression there. <laughs> Boone, are you really gonna be a piece of shit and pretend like you can't get up on the couch? Oh, I oh, thought you were talking God. to a person for a second. I know. I was like, "Who's he coming?" No, I was, I was like, talking oh. to this puppy idiot. Oh, it's a different dog. It's another <laughs> different shame. dog. This one Why is he the color of shame? He only got three legs. Oh. Oh. He only got because he's oh. just a little guy. He's just a little oh. guy. Perfect. I love him. Oh, he's wearing the cone because he won't stop chewing on his little foot. And he's being grumbly. <laughs> he's going to kick your ass. Thank you, boy. <laughs> no, he's he won't. He's, he's a stuffed toy. He has no agency or ability to affect anyone. <laughs> he doesn't have a violent bone in his body. <laughs> and now he has self esteem issues. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, he doesn't. Nobody loves Boone more than Boone. <laughs> <laughs> oh, nice. You know that annoys me. Dogs are supposed to be like, right? Aren't dogs supposed to be like man's best friend? If you're not my best friend, then what are you good for? Get out of here. <laughs> I don't. I don't appreciate that. I don't. I don't appreciate a self indulgent dog. <laughs> You don't want a dog that's just like staring at him, at himself in the mirror all day when you're trying to like get in there. I don't like it. I don't like it. Okay. Uh, real quick, my least favorite I think is gonna be everything in the claymation Rudolph universe. Oh, all of it. I, I don't like no. it. Donner's an asshole. The entire idea of like you're oh, yeah. only valuable because your nose makes light for this like one thing, and otherwise we would have like bullied you and made your life miserable. I don't like that. I don't like the heat miser. I don't like the freeze miser. I don't like it. They're creepy. It's gross. It doesn't <laughs> it only you guys your life. I don't like it. It's not wow. I won't watch it. Okay. I will change the channel. I'm so happy right now that I've seen the life and adventures of Santa Claus. 
Mm. No. It's based on a Frank L. Baum novel, and it is the most buckwild fucking thing I've ever seen. <laughs> write that down. Good. Write that. Just write Buckwild the Fucking Life and thing. Adventures of Santa Claus. The Life and Adventures of Santa Claus? Yeah. Yes. It starts with a weird roundtable discussion where a bunch of demon-looking things are discussing whether or not to make a dying Santa Claus immortal. And we learn that he invented the entire concept of Troy of toys to own some weird, spiky, invisible goblins. Wow. Huh. I'm into it. I'm sold. Yeah. I'm 100% into it. Wow. <laughs> Sounds like lore to me. Yeah. <laughs> I don't if like that. If here for one thing, it's the lore. <laughs> I need me some lore. <laughs> So would you say that's your uh, would you say that's your least favorite, or or are you like into that no. one? I liked that one because of how buck wild it was. Like in my <laughs> rating system, I gave it like a five ten for quality, but a ten ten for how much every single person on the planet needs to watch this movie. <laughs> oh, my least favorite one that I've watched by a country mile is this one on Netflix called okay. A Christmas Inheritance, and oh. I fucking hate this movie. I hate oh, this God. movie too hell like <laughs> it is your standard hallmark big city girl goes to a small town to discover the true meaning of christmas which is usually smooching some hot local dude except not only is it poorly acted not only is it poorly shot not only is it a cookie cutter plot it's fucking mean it is mm. a deeply mean spirited film i don't like it just i don't like resist mean. taking any shot to just shit all over its main character for no reason. Yes. <laughs> wow. Oh, there's another it's one on Netflix that, that shits on the main character so much because she's like so awkward and doesn't have a boyfriend and she's in her 30s, but she's a cop and her mom's her boss. And her mom is like so <laughs> embarrassed that her girlfriend that her daughter doesn't have a boyfriend in time for Christmas. Like it's it's a lot. I mean it's cuffing yeah. season. You have to have a boyfriend by Christmas. Especially if you're a cop. Oh my god! I don't have a boyfriend by Christmas. I'm. T oh. I mean, what are you going to do in January? What am I going to do? <laughs> right. You think she'd have I an know. easier time cuffing someone? Well, well, she ends up dating a guy that she's supposed to be uh, investigating for possible crime. Oh, wow. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. What do we ever do with these handcuffs? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, they don't show that because these are wholesome movies. Oh, yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> you have the right to scream my name. All right. <laughs> oh, okay. This is a family show. It's after 9.30. We're talking about Christmas movies. <laughs> the reason for the season. Ho, ho, ho. Ho, ho. All right, Josh. I'm going to so put Josh back in, in the host spot. <laughs> All right. It was, I fun. it was fun while it lasted. Oh, uh, so the, the one that I hate, um, actually, this, um, I don't like, um, you're probably going to hate me for this. Uh, I don't like, um, it's a wonderful life. Uh, yeah. I don't like it at all. Yeah. Okay. I can, Why? I can take or leave. It's this. just it's, choice. It's, 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 it's so, we got so overplayed in my, in my, my, and in, in, where, where, like, it's got so overplayed. It was so overplayed that my mother, when she bought the video cassette of it, mm -hmm. my, my my stepfather was like, why did you buy this? We can just watch it every Christmas. Like, <laughs> we don't need to watch this any other time of the year. And it was just, it was so, I saw it so many times. And like 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 I said before, when you when you said about the thing where you, you see things a lot because you get Stockholm Syndrome, I don't. I just I just found it boring and more and more boring every time I saw it. Yeah, it's it's like, I like, never I never saw it as a kid and like yeah. and I saw it for the first time like as an adult and I was like, man, I would I would have hated this as a child. I would have been so bored. But I do I do hate though that like the worst possible scenario of a life without George Bailey is that Mary's a librarian. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, the, no, the worst possible of result time. of a life without George Bailey is a bunch of people are dead who wouldn't otherwise be dead. Like, like I, I just I wanted him to jump. I really just wanted him to jump. I wanted I wanted Clarence to push him off. Like I just, such a sweet boy. By, by, by the twentieth time you've seen it, you really want to see something different. <laughs> Mary is the hero. 
Dan and Chapman's it, blowing up the, no, the chat I want right to see him yeah. fucking stick it to that rich bourgeois fuck Mr. Potter. Yes. That's why I come I'm, I'm just sitting there. I'm sitting there going, I'm sitting there going, why, why can't it be every time a, a bell rings an angel kills a guy? Like, I was just like... <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that was dark. Oh, that was dark. Well, well, we guillotine Mr. Potter. Right. Yes. But uh, I'll tell you the you other thing. You can do with your $44.19 that he shells out to you during the <laughs> I, do, I do like Mr. Potter's like like evil little giggle. Like, eh. <laughs> oh, he's a fantastic know. villain. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Absolutely. Um, uh, Dan, Dan's like, it's it's long. It's very long. It's two movies. It's, it's oh, two yeah. movies. But it is. There's part uh, one and part two. It's a standard movie, and then it's a short movie. Yeah. And a Chris, Christmas story is kind of the same way for me. Okay. I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't hate it. No, I don't hate it. I don't hate it. I don't hate it. But I saw it so many times. Oh, <laughs> oh, <laughs> we're left. Yeah. We're done. A Christmas Story <laughs> is a bad movie that I love principally for nostalgic reasons. Yeah, but I will not pretend that it's not a bad movie. I mean, there was a sequel too. I don't know if everybody knows. A summer that. Story. Yeah. A summer Story. It's a what? Marvel. Marvel. It was uh, Charles Grodin was the played uh, played the old man. Yep. Mm. In the in the it was it was Charles Grodin and Mary Steenburgen. Oh. Yeah, two were the were, I think were the mom and the dad yes. in, in that one. But I loved the Christmas story. Christmas story is to, to this day one of my uh, whenever it does the twenty four hours of Christmas mm -hmm. story TV, like we would watch that. We would watch it over and over and over again. Yeah, uh, oh, yeah. Uh, I play. Yeah, there's a play version of it. So they uh, they they made the movie and then they approached. Um, I'm trying to think of the guy's name that wrote it. Uh, you know, uh, I'll look it up. Uh, anyway, they they approached yeah, him about making a making a like a stage play out of it, and it was oh, it was so great. It was such a fun experience. I, mean, I, I didn't hate it. Like, like I said, I don't I don't hate it at all. I, I actually love the movie. To be honest with you, it's just I saw it so many times that I was like, okay, enough. <laughs> <Get up. laughs> like I don't want anybody to die in it. Like I don't want, I want that to happen. Like, I don't want I don't want, I don't, I don't want the next door neighbor's dogs to attack the people. I just want I still want to eat the turkeys. Gene oh, Shepard. Gene um, Shepard is who it was. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I just, I just, it's, it's, it, I don't have the same level of hate for it that I do. Uh, it's a Wonderful Life. It's just I saw it so many times that I just, I get bored of it. <laughs> the more you talk about how much you hate it, the more I'm reminded of how much I love it. Yeah. <laughs> Fragile. <laughs> Where did you hear? Like, Where did you hear that? What made that movie good? Oh, Probably yeah, from his father. The parents yeah. are the best part of that movie by yeah. a yeah. long shot. Oh, yeah, or just like oh, all the adults, like see, plus. Yeah. Oh. 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 With a thing on this, with the what the fuck is it? Something on the stock, and this thing. Well, the thing on the stock. Time. <laughs> <laughs> so, so good. Funny. Really funny. Yeah, plus, 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 plus. It is a good movie. It is. It is a good movie. I, I'm, I'll give you that. I just saw it so many times that it, it just got it got old. And maybe I'll have to rewatch it now and and find the love of Christmas in my heart again. Darren McGavin. <laughs> Was the the dad from yeah. Billy Madison? Mm. Was the was the old man? That's right. Oh, and the bully was played by um, well, bully Scott Farkas was played by uh, yes. Zach Ward, who was an actor who would later later go on to be on the show Titus and a couple other yes. things. Yep. <laughs> yeah. And Scott Schwartz did a porno. Yes, he did. <laughs> the guy that played <laughs> Flip <What>? did a porno. <laughs> <laughs> well, no, 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 that's our show. <laughs> oh, wow. Time flies when you're talking about soft porn, huh? There's Scott Schwartz, that guy right there. That's what we're gonna leave the uh, leave the leave everybody with is Scott Schwartz. I triple dog, dog Darius. Oh yeah, there was the kid from the toy. Yeah. Oh, it was the kid from the toy. Oh my also, god. Oh, that movie was problematic. What, what a racist movie that was. <laughs> Yeah, not great. Ooh, not great. Not great. 
Not, not great. great. Not at all. <laughs> Don't watch that movie, everybody. A lot of Richard Pryor movies were really just bad, 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 bad. Anyways, on that note. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, Merry Christmas, everybody. Good night. <laughs> Merry Cheers. Christmas. Thank you, thank you to Emma. Thank, night, you to thank, you to, thank you to Pui. Thank you to uh, Matt. Thank you to everybody at 2MB Studios. Have a great holiday. Thank you to all of you in the audience. Thank you to Dave Thomas. I love you, even though they hate you. Um, thank you to everybody else. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, this has been interesting points. I uh, have a great Christmas. And uh, I, I don't know if I'll see you next week, but if I don't see you next week, have a great new year. Thanks, everybody. Oh, 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 oh,